Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll see the latest features on the new One UI 3.1 on Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. Here, to make the difference more visible on the latest update on One UI 3.1, we will compare it with the previous version of One UI 3.0 on S20 Plus. On the latest update of One UI 3.1 on S21 Plus, there are various new features that are quite interesting and pretty useful. These features are still not available on One UI 3.0 version on the previous S20 Plus series but maybe later it will be available on other series as well. Okay, now let's take a look on all the latest features on the latest One UI 3.1 update on S21+. Plus. The first feature is the call background option on the phone dial app. In the phone dial setting on One UI 3.1, there is a new feature called call background. In the call background option on One UI 3.1, there are some default backgrounds added right here. On One UI 3.0, there is only one background available. In the new updated One UI 3.1, you can immediately choose the default background with more options than before. For the previous option, there was only one gradation theme option. While on One UI 3.1, it has three additional options with some interesting animations. This is the first animation added on One UI 3.1. And there is also a second animation added with a new animation design. Then the last one is a new AR emoji background. For this AR emoji, you can also set an emoji from your own design. You just have to set it in the AR emoji application. Then at the bottom, there is also an option to use video sound as a ringtone. So if the video comes with sound, you can really use it as a ringtone when you get a call. Then for the second new features on One UI 3.1 is from the emoji section in the AR emoji application. Here you can set AR emojis in the AR zone application from the latest One UI 3.1. In the AR zone section, you can choose the AR emoji sticker that you have made. You can make this sticker from a selfie photo or from an existing photo on your phone gallery. For example, let's make it from an existing photo from the phone gallery. On One UI 3.0, you cannot create it from your own image on the gallery. Here, let's make it from one of the photos from the gallery. Let's just choose this photo as an example. On the latest version, you can directly select a photo from the gallery. And now the emoji will be created from the photo that you choose. And now the emojis are complete. Then click all done at the bottom. Here you can see the emojis that you have created. There are different options on this One UI 3.1. On One UI 3.0 there are also 4 options but the icons look different on this new update. In the AR zone application in AR emojis, after you create the emojis, the emojis will appear a little different. On the previous version, the menu options will look like this. And in the latest version, the menu option will look a little different than before. You can directly add to gallery for this option which is the same as the previous version. It's just that the icon is a little different. However, on the second one, add to always on display and set as profile picture menu is different from the previous version. For the previous version, we can only share and delete. Then here we can only edit the emojis for the display. On the latest one at 3.1, there is an option to add to always on display and set as profile picture. You can immediately set it for your profile picture and you can also set it on your always on display. On the previous version, you can only edit the emojis like this. Here you can see the AR emoji settings. You can also set it directly to always on display. Then the next new features on One UI 3.1 is the blue light filter. In the settings option on One UI 3.1, on the display option, there is a naming change on One UI 3.1. For the blue light filter settings on One UI 3.0 previously, it has changed its name to Eye Comfort Shield on One UI 3.1 version. And if we open the blue light filter settings or this Eye Comfort Shield settings, now there is an adaptive menu. On the previous version of One UI 3.0, there was only turn on now and turn on as schedule option. While on the latest setting, the choice is adaptive and for the previous version on One UI 3.0, the option is sunset to sunrise. Now it's been moved to adaptive. And for custom setting, now the menu itself is separate at the bottom. In the latest version of One UI 3.1, there is also a color temperature settings. So besides of some new thing settings, there are also some additional new features in One UI 3.1 update. Then the fourth feature is in the advanced feature section. You can activate these new features from the settings, then select advanced features. Then from there, activate continue apps on other devices. You can use this feature for several supported applications like Samsung Internet or Samsung Note. So you can use some of these supported applications on some of your Samsung Galaxy devices. 
So this is one of the latest features that you can use to switch apps more seamlessly. Hopefully in the future there will be also support for other application as well. Then the fifth feature is still in the advanced feature section. At the bottom there is a new feature called video call effect. These video call effects have not been available in the previous One UI 3.0 version. In the video call effects settings, you can choose the blur effects, color effects, and also select photos from your gallery. You can choose the gallery app, then choose the photos for your call effects background. For those of you who are using Zoom application or Google Duo application, there is a blur option for the background blur effects on the background. You can also change the background color, and then there is also an option to change the photo to whatever you like. For this third option, you can choose the photos directly from your smartphone gallery. You can choose the background photo from whatever photo on your smartphone gallery. So this is kind of the features that you can use on Zoom application on a laptop or PC. Then the next new feature is from the smartphone gallery. For example, if you take a photo from your smartphone and you can check the details on the photo details. Usually in the photo details section, by default you can see the address where the photo taken. And when we share the photo to another smartphone, on One UI 3.0 we will also share the location of the photo. For those of you who want to share the photos but don't want to share the location on the photo, now in One UI 3.1 there is a remove location data feature. So in the One UI 3.1 update this time when you tap on remove location data, the photo you send will not include their location data. For example, here we are trying to send photos from S10 to OnePlus to S20 Plus. And if we take the earlier remove location data features, when you send photos to another smartphone like this from S10 to OnePlus to S20 Plus, you can get the same photo that we sent from S10 to OnePlus to S20 Plus, but on S20 to OnePlus there is still a location data info on the details. And for the photo, after we take remove all location data, when we check the details later, then the display for this location will not be sent to another smartphone. So for those of you who still want to display the location data on your smartphone but don't want to send it to another smartphone, you can use this remove location data feature on the latest One UI 3.1 update. So the location data info on your smartphone will not be sent to another smartphone. Then the next new feature is in the clock application. On the clock application, on One UI 3.1 update, it has the latest features on the application. If on the previous One UI 3.0, it only has the list settings and contact us, now there is a set bedtime option on One UI 3.1. Here if you choose this option, you can set bedtime and here you can immediately select a schedule for your sleeping hours. In this latest feature, you can immediately set your sleep schedule from these settings. Here you can just click next and adjust your bedtime settings. Then here there is a notification reminder option and also a bedtime mode. To activate this bedtime mode, later the screen will be black and white. And for all calls that come in your bedtime, it will immediately be muted. The notification sound will also be immediately silent if you activate this bedtime mode. All of these settings will be immediately activated according to your chosen bedtime. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click on the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when there is a new video from this channel. If you have any question or comment, you can also type in the comment section down below or you can ask on our Telegram group or you can directly DM us on our Instagram account at Entertainment. See you on the next video.